To God be the glory. Can we give God a praise this morning? Hallelujah. Can we give God a praise? Can we give God a praise this morning? Hallelujah. You know, I was watching a little bit of the hockey game last night, and when the Bruins got on the ice, everybody like they lost their mind. I don't think the Bruins can save you. <laughs> can we give God a praise? Jesus is Lord. Uh, you know what? I feel the spirit of God in this place already. Uh, I feel healing already. Someone's been set free already. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. <laughs> He's the only one angry this morning. Every time we get a chance to come into God's house, we ought to give God the praise. We welcome everyone in the house today. We welcome everyone that's, that's on Facebook today. Actually, they go ahead and hit that share button. Uh, uh, get on that phone and, 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 and text somebody and tell them that Zion is on the air. I know we ain't supposed to use cell phones in, in, in church, but if you do a quick text to all your contacts and say Zion is on the air and they about to have some church up in this place, you can go on and do that. You go ahead and do that. Uh, there's a word from the Lord today. There's healing today. And we're going to give God the praise today. We're not going to worry about what's happening out, outside. Out there. We, we can't control that. But we can control what happens in this house today. Do you believe that God's in the house today? How many is looking for a blessing today? I'm looking for a blessing. I, I'm looking for many blessings today. We thank God for, for what has been done thus far. At this time, we're going to have our invocation by our elder Regina Waters. Amen, amen, amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask everyone to bow their heads as we go to the throne of grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for this is the day that the Lord has made. And let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father God, for just giving us another opportunity to come to the house of prayer one more time just to lift the name of Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your mercies, Father God. We thank you for your faithfulness, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we just pray that you have your way in our midst on today, Father God. As the pastor said, Bishop Paul McCourt Jr., there is a word from the Lord, Father God. And Lord, we just pray, Father God, that you give us ears to hear what thus says the Lord, Father God. And also eyes to see you, Father God, but most importantly, hearts to receive what you have to say. Lord, we just pray, pray, Father God, that you move and have your way. Heal those that are sick among us, Father God. Heal those that's watching on the internet, Father God. Save those that need to be saved, Father God. Deliver those that need deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Lord, we give your name all praise and honor and glory because it belongs to you, Father God. And can't nobody do us like you, Jesus, Father God. Can't nobody, nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody do us like you, Lord. Lord, we need you in our life, Father God. We just thank you, Father God. Your word said that you'll never leave us or forsake us, Father God. That you'll be with us until the end. And we're, thank you. we're thankful, Father God, for being such a faithful God. Lord, we just thank you for everything you've done and everything you're doing and everything you're going to do in our lives and in our midst on today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading by our own Deacon James Pratt. Let's give him a hearty amen as he comes up. come from, from Psalms 53. The fool said in his heart, there is no God. <laughs> Trust <laughs> and they, and they had done abomination and iniquity. There is none that does good. 
God loves those look down on the heaven and upon the children of the children of men to see if there was any that did understand and that did seek him, see God. Even one that they are good going, even if one of them is going down, back, going back, they are altogether being skipped. There is none that does good. No, not one. Had the work of the iniquity no knowledge, would he eat upon my people as they eat the bread that has called upon God? There be they that is great fear, that is no fear, but that fear was. For the God has scattered the bones in him that and kept against around against thee, that has put them to shame, because God has despised them. I just read from Psalm 53, 1 to, fi uh, 1 to 5. God had a best of reading his word. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Deacon Pratt. Did you hear? He didn't call you, if you don't think there's a God, he didn't call you a fool. The Bible says, a fool said, a fool. Amen. We thank God for the reading of God's word. His word is blessed. Amen. How many came out to lift up the name of Jesus on this morning? On this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning in May. Praise God. Amen. At this time, we're going to call for the praise and worship team to come up. Amen. Amen. There is none like you no one else can touch my heart like you do I can search for all eternity Lord and find there Come on, one more time. There is none. There is none like you. No one else. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search. I can search for all the Everybody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. We've come to bless the name of the Lord today. I said we've come to praise the name of the Lord today. The song says, come on and bless the Lord with me. Sister Tina Santos. Hallelujah.
the Lord with me. Praise the Lord with me. If you love him. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands if you love him. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all give a praise for Sister Tina. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I opened up with this song by mistake, but then again, it's not a mistake. Because we're going to do it again. This time, y'all going to help me sing it. All right. All right. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Come on, everybody. I can search. I can search for all eternity, Lord. Yeah. 
last night. Such a special way That's why I praise you I lift you up And I magnify your name That's why my heart is filled with praise Come on, people of God, help me sing I love you I love you I love you I love you, Lord, today such a special way. In such a special way. That's why I praise you. I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify you. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind. My heart. My mind. My mind. My soul. My soul belongs to you. You paid the price. You paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. Way back on Calvary. That's why. That's why I praise you. Lift you up. I lift you up. And I magnify. I magnify your name. That's why. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, my soul. My heart, my mind, my soul, my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me. You paid the price for me. Way back on Calvary. Way back on Calvary. That's why. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. One more time. Oh, that's why. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. How many love the Lord on today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was kind of short, but I know we got to move on. But I just love sing a love song to Jesus. Someone say, sing me, Gina. You know you can't say that to me. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I can't sing like Pat Bishop. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Hallelujah, do you love him? That's why my heart is filled with praise. Lord, I love you, Lord. Lord, I love you, Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here are the most safe. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love him on this morning. Do you love him? Hey, most safe, not Shanda. When you love him, you don't think about how you sound. I don't. I'm singing a love song to my Jesus. My husband don't mind me singing to him. He said, baby, I'll hear you sing anytime. <laughs> and you know what? Jesus is the, feels the same way. When you sing it from your heart, you want to sing a love song. Hallelujah. You're not worried about how it sounds. Hallelujah. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When you think about his goodness, you want to sing. You want to praise him. You want to worship him. Hallelujah. You want to bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me stop before I sing another song. <laughs> but I'm going to stop right here because we got to move on. Because I love him. Do you love him? Hallelujah. 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 Bishop said the spirit of the Lord is in this place, and it is in this place. And I'm trying to control myself right now. Woo! I don't know what you preached on this morning, but the presence of the Lord is. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless his name. At this time, we're going to call on the finance committee at this time. Is that correct? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't know what he's done for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're standing here on this morning to be a blessing unto the Lord, to be a blessing unto the house of the Lord and the man and the woman of God of this house of worship. Amen. We're standing here taking up our tithes and offering on this morning. We have a variety of ways that you can be blessed and be a blessing unto the house on this morning. You can pay your tithes and offering by way of cash app, which is money sign Zion Temple Holy Church. You can pay by way of the money machine, uh, our card reader machine, or you can just pay by good old-fashioned cash. Amen but you have the opportunity to be a blessing unto the house of the Lord on this morning. You should have an envelope, and on your envelope, there's indicators of how you wish to pay. Please make sure that you fill out the envelope indicating on how you wish for your tithes and offering or your offering to go in. We thank you very much for being in the service and in the house on this morning, and at this time, we'll turn this part of the service in the hands of our ushers. Amen.
Father God, we come on this morning, Lord, with grateful and thankful hearts, oh, Father God. Thankful for all that you do for us, oh, Father God. Thankful, oh, Lord God, that you bless us to still be here amongst the land of the living on this day, oh, Father God. Thankful for the health and strength in our body, oh, Father God, and for being clothed in our right minds, oh, Lord Jesus. Lord, we come on this morning, oh, Father God, to give you a blessing, oh, Father God, for all that you've done for us, oh, Father God. To bless your house of worship, oh, Father God, and the man and woman of your house on this morning, oh, Father God. We just thank you, oh, Father God. We ask that you bless this offering, oh, Father God. Give to those that gave, oh, Father God. Bless those that had a desire to give but didn't have it to give on this morning, oh, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, oh, Father God, we say amen, amen, and amen. 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 At this time, we're going to have our announcements for our own sister Leona Poor. Let's give her a hearty amen as she comes. already know that on this week we have on every Tuesday and Thursday night at 6 a Thursday morning at 6 a.m. we have morning prayer and that Thursday at 7 p.m. we have Bible study which is on zoom and every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 12 p.m. is our annual fast And also for today, if um, all the leaders of the church, if you can see me after church to schedule your meeting. We already talked about that, so you know, schedule your meeting with me after service. And also for the announcements, on May 3rd, which is next Sunday at Four o'clock, abundant life. On May twenty third, abundant life at four o'clock. It's having a Pentecost Sunday at Greater Faith Worship Center at one twenty um, Stafford Street, and that's in High Park. And um, we are invited, the church, Zion Temple Holy Church, we are invited next Sunday at 4. And you have to register by the 19th. You have to register by the 19th. So if you're going, please see um, Tanya. Please see Sister Tanya today. Because today is the registration day. And also, Abundant Life on June 5th through the 6th, they are having a women's conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Women that. of Power, and it starts June 5th through um, June 6th, and on that Saturday, they're having Morning Glory Prayer, and our pastor will be part of the Morning Glory Prayer, and that's on, <laughs> that's on June 5th are invited um, those that want to go to their women's conference please sign up um, the information is on um, the board in the chapel it's in the hall oh it's in the hall now and also we're having our youth conference Zion Temple Holy Church Youth Conference June 24th through the 26th. Our theme is Follow the Heavenly Road. Okay? Amen. So on June 24th at 7 p.m., we have Pastor Otis Sullivan as the speaker. And on the 25th, we have Elder Alexis Wright. 
very good speakers. And on the 26th, they're having a paint day, a paint day for the youth. And that's from 1 to 5. So it's a whole weekend Amen. of our youth conference. So please come out to that. Again, the date is June 24th through June 26th. So, um, I think everyone probably already received the letter in their program that we're asking for donations for um, our Pastor McCoy, a dedication for him. We're, dedica we're dedicating the church in his name, and it was his dream to make the church handicap accessible. So if you, you receive the letter in your program, please read the letter. We're asking for a donation of um, any amount, $500 or any amount if you have that. And that would be by June 1st. We want to dedicate the church and make the church handicap accessible. And our bishop, Bishop McCoy Sr.'s name. Okay, July 9th through the 10th, which is Zion Temple Holy Church Women's Conference. Um, that's the 9th through the 10th, okay? And um, our theme is blessed is the woman who walks with God. Okay, blessed is the woman who walks with God. That is our theme. So July 9th, we have a speaker at 7 p.m., which is Pastor Gwen Wheeler. And that'll be here at Zion Temple Holy Church, the service. And then on July 10th, which is a Saturday at 11 a.m., we're having a women's brunch. Women's only. So the speaker will be, you know, because of the virus, we still have to go by that. Um, see Deaconess Robin, she has a ticket. Deaconess Robin, she can raise her hand right there. That's Deaconess Robin, see her. With your money, $50. Um, okay, and don't forget May 19th, which we all know what that day is, right? It's this week. What day is that? Pastor's birthday. Thank you for all the announcements. Let's govern ourselves accordingly. Amen? Amen. How many is ready to be fed? The word of God. It's time for the word of God. Amen? And how many know that there is a now word from the Lord? And we're blessed and honored to have our own pastor, Bishop Paul McCoy, Jr., to bring the word today. And just before he comes, we're going to have a uh, solo by Bishop Powell. Amen? Amen. Amen. And we're going to ask everyone to please stand as our bishop come to the podium to preach the word of God. Bishop Paul McCoy, Jr. Amen? Amen. Amen. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the victory. I love him. I love him. Oh, I really love the Lord. No. 
what he's done for me. He gave me, gave me the victory. I, I love him. I wish somebody loved him today. I, love him today besides me. I love him. I love him. Oh, I with that bishop. You don't know what he's done for me. He gave Hallelujah. me gave me the victory and I think about the love of Jesus. I can remember when me and my wife first started dating. She lived in Brockton. And I would take the bus to Brockton. And as the bus got closer to the station, my heart started beating faster. And then as the pull to the station, you see Connie sitting there just waving. And then you begin to breathe harder. And that reminds me when I think of Jesus, how much I love him. It makes my heart beat fast. It makes me breathe hard. All I can do is just lift my hands and give everything to God. I just magnify his name. What I think is who, who woke me up this morning and kept me in my right mind and kept my body healed and he keeps me free and I really love the Lord. Jesus. Something about the name of Jesus. 
See, that, that messes me up because it messes me up on my lesson. I, I can't get to my lesson because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, And all that he's just doing for me. Traveled the highways all last week and made it home. Thank you, Jesus. I, I looked up, Bishop, and looked up at the ceiling, and I had a roof over my head. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't have a flavor young last week, but I'm not hungry. Thank you, Jesus. I really love the Lord. My God, my God, my God. Something about the name of Jesus. I say something about that name of Jesus. Ah, uh, tis so sweet. Tis so sweet. Ah, uh, Jesus. Mm. Oh, God. My glasses fogged up. Somebody wiped them off. I'm fogged up right now. I'm all steamed up right now. That's what love will do to you, you see. Love makes you hot and get steamed up, man. I don't know if I should be going there with it, Deacon, but it's just how I feel right now when I think of Jesus. I have to give God the worship. I have to give God the praise. I know some of y'all have been standing up too long, but if you got to sit down, go ahead and sit down. I'll just make love to God by myself. I'll just love up on him by myself. He's a good God. I said, he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. My God, my God. I thank you, Jesus. Let's pray with the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, Lord Jesus. It's good. Listen, I'm not going to stand before you. Acts. The book of Acts. I'm going to come from the eighth chapter. You know, listen, next Sunday is the big day, y'all. I think I lost some folks on that one. Next Sunday is the big day. Pentecost. Holy Ghost. Let me say that again. Pentecost. Holy Ghost. Ah, somebody yelled out anointed of God. See, 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 if you don't have that anointed on your life, you don't know it. When somebody say Pentecost, that ain't going to do nothing for you. <laughs> It'll be just like any other word. But when you have the Holy Spirit on the inner side, and somebody tells that you Pentecost, something bubbles up on the inside. It's a celebration. The birth of the church when it was all in that upper room. <laughs> oh, what I wish they had been in that upper room that day. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, turn with me to uh, uh, Acts, the eighth chapter. I'm going to begin at the 14th verse. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version, Acts 8 and 14. And when you find it, it will read as, and when the apostles in Jerusalem heard, that Samaria had accepted the word of God. They sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers there, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on any of them. They simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the land of the apostle hands, he offered them money and said, Give me also this ability 
so that everyone to whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you, because your thoughts, because you thought you could buy the, the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry, because your heart is not right before God. Repent of your wickednesses, of this wickedness, and pray to the Lord and hope that he may forgive you for having such thoughts in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Then Simon answered, pray to the Lord for me so that nothing you have said may happen to me. After they had further proclaimed the word of the Lord and testified about Jesus, Peter and John returned to Jerusalem, preaching the gospel in many Samaritans' village. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. My text today will be, you can't buy God. You can't buy God. Listen, I, I, I watch on, on TV and you read in the papers, they hear a lot of talk about uh, many charities that help people. And, and many of them do, do, do good jobs and, and thousands of people, they, they uh, uh, give thousands towards these charities. A lot of times you be at work and they'll ask you, do you want to give you not that way? Do you want to give to the cancer fund? There are so many charities that people support. Uh, some people even consider the church as a charity. I don't know how I feel about that because my God has everything. I don't want to stop you from giving your money, but I say my God had everything. And I don't believe the church is a charity case. They send their tithes and offerings, but they refuse to accept Jesus as their Savior. Let me say that again. Folks pay their tithes and offering real good. They pay good money to the church and still refuse to accept Jesus as their Savior. He asked me to try to buy their way into heaven. And I tell you again today, money can't get you into heaven. You can't buy God. I don't care how much you donate, how much you give to the Cancer Society, the Alcohol Anonymous, and the Kidney Foundation, and whatever kind of charity there is out there, you can give all you got your last dime and open up your eyes in hell. You can't buy God. Salvation was already paid for and brought with a price. No money can, can, can save you. No money can get you in heaven. Only accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You, 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 you can do all you want to do and, and say I'm a good little boy and I go to church every Sunday and still end up in hell. You know, we got people been in the house of God for over all their lives and have never received the Holy Spirit. Mm, I think I'm treading on dangerous grounds right here. Ah, they, they'll raise their hand. They might have a little shout and a little dance, but they never received the Holy Spirit. And God has promised us if you do right, the Holy Spirit is a gift from God. The Holy Spirit is a gift from God. At Christmas time, we was growing up a little boys and, and girls in our house. Mom and dad would always give us Christmas presents. But uh, one of the criteria for uh, getting a, good, a Christmas present is that we had to be a good little boy and good little girls. We had to be obedient to what was told to us to do. Keep our room clean. Do our schoolwork. Come home on time. Don't talk back. And, and in church, it's the same ways. We got to keep this body clean. <laughs> we got to be obedient to God. And most of all, we just can't talk back. Mm, I think I hit that time. I said we can't just talk back to God. Some of us think, think that we can say any way, anything we want to do, God, and do anything we want to do our way. But my Bible tells me somewhere in there, it says, be holy. You say, be holy. Be holy. For I'm holy. Saints, it's time for the church to stop playing church.
your big old cross, your long white dress, on your way to hell. I don't know if we should say hell in church, but I think that's the problem with the church today. Folks, stop saying hell. They don't preach heaven and hell anymore. I can tell you that you I can tell you that if you pay your tithes and offering, you'll be blessed. We'll run up here, we give the extra money that day. I can say I got a $25 line. Everybody get a $25 line and they'll pay that. I can say if you want a big house, I need everybody to give me a hundred dollars. And some of y'all get up and give me the hundred dollars. Trust it in my word. But when I ask who wants to be saved. Hmm. Everybody looking around like you like I asked you for some cancer or something. When I asked to have you receive the Holy Ghost, what's the Holy Ghost? They have no idea. The Word of God tells us today that the people in, in Samaria, they had Jesus had died on the cross and they was preaching Jesus. And folks would be believing in Jesus. They were getting saved. But the word of God said, yet yeah, they had not received the Holy Spirit. Some folks got it confused. Well, I'm saved now and I'm full of the Holy Ghost. Ah, lie. They believe, but they have not received the Holy Spirit. So the apostles said, said, said they sent John and, 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 and Peter down. And when they arrived, when they arrived, they said, they, they asked them, y'all, y'all, listen, y'all, y'all saved now, and, 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 and y'all believe in Jesus Christ, but there's something that you're missing. You're missing the power of the Holy Spirit. Since he saved folks, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. See, when you're saved, it's like having a car with no gas. We well, don't have that power. Or putting the wrong type of gas in your car. One time I got water in my tank and, and I pull off my car like this. It jerked. It turned off. It turned off. It just didn't run right other waters. But when I put some dry gas in there <laughs> and added that power and I added that boost. And then when I hit the gas, uh -huh, I was able to get where I needed to be. See, when you got the power of the Holy Ghost, it helps you get where you need to be. See, I need to be healed. So I need the power of the Holy Ghost to help me to get where I need to be. I need to be delivered. So I need the power of the Holy Ghost to help me to, to be delivered. <laughs> See, you might have somebody in your house that's not saved. You know, you got them kids in your house. That's not saying they act up. But see, when you got the power of the Holy Ghost in the inside, all you need to do is walk through the house. You ain't got to say much. We got the power of the Holy Ghost on the inside. That thing just comes on the outside. Jeremiah says it's just like fire. You can speak it with authority. For me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Take it on to the kitchen. For me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Now, some of y'all got some real bad kids. Now, before you hit the next room, you might have to note yourself with some oil. And head on into their bedroom. And say, for me and my house. Yeah! Glory to God. See, see, see. I, I'm Pentecost. If I were Baptist, I would put the hand up and say, for me and my house. Hey! 
Hey! Oh, Jesus. See, you see, the Holy Ghost hadn't came on them yet. And the Bible said that John and Peter lay hands. <laughs> Don't you know a pastor, when he's under the anointing, a leader, an elder, let's take it down a notch, a deacon, a deaconess. Can we break it down some more? A usher, a mother, a father. If you're saved, sanctified. Filled with the Holy Ghost. My God. The word of God, somebody say. Oh, brother Gavin, get off the organ. Take that hand. In the name of Jesus. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. Fill her right now. In the name of Jesus, you said it in your word. Ask anything you ask in this name. Glory be to God. He said he they, they, they got filled. Something happened. Something happens when you call on the name of Jesus. Something happens when you call on the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. God! My God, my God. He said, all right, God. I ain't got no better sense to believe that thing. I ain't got no better sense than to believe that thing. Let me go into the hospital. <laughs> I'll go into the IC unit. And just walk by and just start laying my hand. Healing in the name of Jesus. Salvation in the name of Jesus. God heal right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. See, when you got the when you got Jesus on your side, you powerful. You got to watch yourself. You might even get on the MBTA bus and uh, this take. You, you see the trains crowded in the morning, ain't it? But what happens when you got a saved person? Ella West on that crowded train. And you walk on. And the train throw on brakes. And you go forward and stop bumping folks with your Holy Ghost self, with your sanctified self, with your saved self. The Spirit of God is just take over. I say the Spirit of God is just take over. See, I don't understand it. And it's okay to march. Black minds matter. We shall overcome. Something missing. Jesus. Something missing. Jesus. The Bible said, well, it be two or three gathered in my name. Yeah. What, 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 what happened? If somebody say, Jesus. What would happen if somebody say, Jesus? We gather in his name. And call on the name of Jesus. See, 
Diggy, they, 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 march, they march down the city hall. And everybody want the mic. You see them. Everybody want to talk about justice. And I watch it all the time. But one thing I ain't seen nobody do. Get on their knees. If my people which are called by my name would take a knee and up in himself and pray. He said, he'll heal the land. He'll heal the land. He'll set us free. He'll restore the land. He'll give us what we need. My God. My God. See, we got it all mixed up. Folks think they can buy God. Folks always want to be a show. That man Simon said, hey, listen, I saw what that trick y'all did. Pulled out his wallet. I got some money. I'll pay you, Deke, if you give me that power that you got so I can lay hands. Peter and John say, the devil is a lie. You can't buy this. You can't buy this stuff. The blood was shed on the cross. You can't buy that blood that was shed on the cross. He was beaten. He was bruised. He was crucified. You can't buy it. The Holy Spirit only dwells in clean places. It can't dwell in a dirty place. No. Satan can't dwell where God is. If he could, God could have left him in heaven. God told Satan, no, you can't stay here. You got to get out of here. Kicked him and his boys out. Every last one of them. You got to live a holy life for the Holy Spirit. Let's let that marinate a little bit. Let, let it marinate. You got to live a holy life. Get my tablet up there. there. You got to live a holy life. You can't do what you want to do. You can't do what you want to do. Give me Acts. Uh, 2 and 38. 2 and 38. Well, Bishop, well, I've been in church for 40 years and I ain't got it yet. That's the first thing. You got to admit that you ain't got nothing and stop faking it. Like you all deep. You ever see somebody like down the street? How you doing, brother? Oh, bless, holy favor. And just a mean as a cockroach. The devil on the inside. All you looking for is a good morning. How do you how, 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 how do you get the Holy Spirit? Well, who got that? Read that. Read that. It says, then Peter said unto them. Uh-huh. What? Repent. Huh? Repent. Hey? Repent. Okay. And be baptized. Uh huh. Every one of you. How many of y'all? Every one of you. Uh huh. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh huh. For the remission of sin. Uh huh. And ye shall I didn't read that. Uh, was there any money transactions involved in that? Yeah. Anybody got money transactions involved in that? Anybody just come to church and sit on the bench involved in that? Yeah. Repent! Yeah. 
get dipped in the water. Live holy. All y'all. Not half, everybody. Including me. And then after you do that, then you say, then you shall receive the Holy Spirit. That's how you get the Holy Ghost. You said you will get it. You shall. There's no other stipulations there. You said you shall be filled with the Holy Spirit. So if some of you seasoned folks, I've been saved for a long time and I'm not tired yet. Ain't got the Holy Spirit. You're missing one of the three elements. So if I were you, I'd start over again. Bishop, what must I do to be saved? Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Because when's the next baptized date? I need to go down again. <laughs> and start it all over again. And then only then you shall receive the Holy Spirit. Saints, don't be fooled. You need the Holy Spirit. We're going into the Pentecost week. Pentecost Sunday, and the church has, has lost what it means. We'll celebrate every other holiday. We give presents and we spend all our last on Christmas Day. We go buy Gucci shoes and get the nice pocketbooks and everything for Easter. You know we do. Been doing it since I was a little boy. Y'all remember Quincy Bargain Center? My mama dressed me in a lime green suit one Easter. $15.99, Quincy Bargain Center. I was shocked too. And that's what we were taught. But when it comes to Pentecost, when the last time you got a card? When the last time somebody woke you up in the morning and said, Happy Pentecost Day? That's the birth of the church. We ought to get excited about that day. I can't wait. I can't wait to get church for Sunday. Pentecost Day. What? Yeah, Pentecost Day. See if anybody put that on Facebook. No, no, no. They don't, they don't, they don't do that. You got to be born again. Saints, do what's right. I say do what's right. Time is drawing near, y'all. God is soon to come. Have y'all watched the news lately? What, what, what's happening right now? Say it loud, Deacon. What we just went over in Revelation in the last days is going to be wars and what? Rumors of wars. And, and, and did we read about in Revelation that Palestine is going to attack Israel? Did we read that in Revelations? Did we not bring that out? We are living in entire. Y'all say y'all better get on the Bible study. Y'all missed that part. We covered that. It said going to be wars and rumors of wars. In the beginning of the end of time, Palestine is going to attack Israel. And it says, who's going to come to the rescue? The bird, what the bird represent? The, the United States of America. And what Biden tried to do, intervene. Ain't that right? Oh, y'all better get in a Bible study. We went, we went over this, didn't we? Uh-huh. And we took our time, and this stuff is taking place right now. And y'all going to sit back in there and not want to be saved? 
It's the, it's the beginning to happen, y'all. And at any moment, the church is going to be called up. The church is going to be called up. The church is going to be called because Paul Jr. ain't going through the tribulation. I don't know about y'all. I ain't got no plans for that. You going? No. I'm going to be called up. I'm going to see Jesus up in the air. Hey! He's coming back. And he's going to come back for Zion. A church without spot or wrinkle. I was watching my dad on, on Facebook this week. Sister Ann posted an old tape when he was sitting over there. And, and he said, don't miss Jesus. Be ready with Jesus. You're going to meet him one day. That was one of his last words here when he sat right in that chair over there. Don't miss Jesus. So, so, so you need to reevaluate yourself. Choose you this day. Who you going to serve? Simple as that. Choose you this day. Who you, you can't serve Satan and you can't serve God. It's got to be one or the other. If you're going to play, play a devil, be a good devil. My dad said be the best you can at anything you do, right? If I'm going to serve Satan... I go get me a, what you call it, how you not so think, a pint, what do you call it, a liter, whatever it's called? A 40? Might as well do it right, right? I want no cannabis, I want some marijuana. I'm going to do it, do it right, right? Get my what? There you go. Did you know all that stuff? If, you, if, if, if you're going to live like a life, that kind of a life, live that kind of a life. Don't show up in church every Sunday and die and go to hell. Don't make no sense to me. Sweat your suit up and spend all your money up for these nice dresses and, and everything. And then die and go to hell. God knows your heart. You can't fool him. So I made up my mind. I'm going to serve the Lord. I made up my mind, I'm going to serve the Lord the best that I know. I may trip, I may fall, I may waver, I might get mad, I might get sick, but I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to do the best that I can, I'm going to serve the Lord. The best that I know how. I'm going to give God all I got. Because I mean business for God. I mean business for God. Think about it, saints. Everybody stand. Let's stand to your feet real quick. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, see. I, I, I say this, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep preaching it until God, until I lay up here laid out. I'm going to keep saying it. God is soon to come, and you need Jesus. God is soon to come, and you need Jesus. So I want to say, every hour, I need thee. Every hour. I had to change one word. I took hour out and put minute in. I need him every minute. I can't afford not to be without him for a minute. I don't want to be out of his anointing. I don't want to be out of his presence. Especially with Satan's all around you and attacking. He's attacking our young. He's attacking our old. Everybody's getting comfortable. Oh, we got the vaccine for COVID now. And, and they're saying it's ending. But Revelation tells us there's more to come. If this ain't over, there's just the beginning of a, 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 a famine and pestilence. More to come. 
That's the word. Y'all think a lot of folks died? This ain't be a scratch. See, I'm not worried about the other mess because I ain't planning on being here anyway. <laughs> I said this before. If God calls and takes Zion home, my keys will be on the desk. You can have my car. Go ahead in the house. We got food in the refrigerator. And live your life. Because I won't need it no more. Because for me and my house, we decide to serve the Lord. We decide to serve the Lord. I ain't got to worry about looking up where Connie is. Because we be called up together. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think somewhere in here is, is holiness. Holiness. God first. Holiness. Holy is the glue together. Holiness is what keep you. Holiness is going to what's raise you up out of the ground. So if you're not saved, this is that part everybody do. See, see who, 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 who going? Who going to go first? 